Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to suppose that g is an odd function and let h equal f of g. Is h always an odd function? What if f is odd and what if f is even? So if g is an odd function, that means that g of negative x is equal to negative g of x. We're also told that h is equal to f of g, right, which we can write as f of g of x since it's a little bit clearer. And we're asked, is h an odd function? Is h of negative x equal to negative h of x, right? The same definition up here. So writing it in terms of the composition that we know is f of g of negative x equal to negative f of g of x, right? Plugging in this into h. Because we know something about g, we can actually find out is this odd, is this even? So if we know that g of negative x is equal to negative g of x, we can plug that in to here. So this is f of negative g of x is equal to negative f of g of x. Is this true? Well, we don't know anything about f, so therefore we can't say whether f of the negative of some value is equal to negative times f of that value. Right? So if f is odd, then yes, we do know this. The definition of an odd function is that f of negative something equals negative times f of something. So we can substitute. So if we don't know anything, it is unknown. If, f, if h is odd, or sorry, if f is odd, then f of negative g of x is equal to negative f of g of x, right? You take out the negative in a, in a way, right? Move it out front. The g of a negative something is equal to negative times the g of that something. We do the same here. And of course, f negative f of g of x is equal to itself. Therefore, if f is odd, h is odd. Okay, so what if f is even? This step right here was done for the odd section, so we're gonna skip around it. We know f of negative g of x is equal to negative f of g of x. If f is even, that means that f of x equals f of negative x. Therefore, f of negative g of x is equal to f of g of x. Right? You can remove the negative sign, and the function stays the same. And here, we can see that f of g of x is not equal to negative f of g of x, right? Because if we were to divide by the function itself, this is one and it is not equal to negative one. Therefore, if f is even, then we know that it is not odd, unless f of g of x is equal to zero, in which case zero is equal to negative one times zero, but in general, it is not odd. So, if g is an odd function and h is equal to f of g, h is an odd function if f is odd, it's not odd function if f is even, and if we don't know whether f is odd or even, it is unknown.